Last video, we looked at how we can move from shape files to a future class. So today, we'll be looking at how you move from a future class to shape file. Now, here are the example we used in the last videos. And then we want to look at this and returning them back to shape file. So as we did in there, you right click and then you go to export. Then now the shape file also have multiple and singulars. Well, so we'll be looking at the multiple and then the single. So we'll click on the multiple. Now it's going to ask us to bring in the rest of the shape file. So which one have we bring in first? We bring in the AMAC. So we could highlight the rest. And then we we'll add them together. So they've been added. So it's asking us for a folder because shapefile only require a folder to be existing in. So we say we want it to be in this folder. Then we we'll add the folder. That's also is transferring everything that it has from the coordinate system to everything to that folder I just selected. So it's going to process and then. Once you finish up, then you have it. So it has finished. One will go back to the folder and then we looked at uh, that very folder. We're going to see all the shape files that it has already created okay sorry that's the folder up uh, and that's the folder up so you see that these are all the shape files it has created all right so and then these are the geodata base that we have before so similarly it also has where you export them one by one as usual so you export and then you go to the single version of it. Now, it's asking you for the output location and it's asking you for the output name. So let's say we're still using, let's use this one. This is the output location. Then it's asking us for the name. The name is AMAC. And then once you OK, it process it and then it's going to bring it here. So you see, so this is a future class and this is a shape file. So it's the same thing, just the format that change. So how you could interrelate with them and how you could convert them is what this video is all about. So we'll be moving right next to the next video and which is uh, titled from either shape file or future class, any of them to AutoCAD format. Stay tuned, come right next.